Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Bioshock. Um, I am Rick, your lovely host, and I'm going to check and make sure I didn't miss anything over here. I think I did that last time. But uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to hack this vending machine. So let's blow this thing open. Um, I'm going to show you the first few hack mini games, but I'm probably not going to show you all of them because after a while they do get a little repetitive. Um, and I know you don't want to see me here fiddling with pipes because it's it's boring. I mean, honestly, it's it's pretty much the slowest part of the game in um, in the in the first game. So I'm just kind of going to edit a lot of these out unless there's something very particular that I want to call attention to in a in a mini game because I pretty much hack everything I see. That's that's the that's the strategy when you want to work with here. But um. I'm going to be buying pretty much one thing for this entire playthrough, and that's going to be Eve Hypos. Unless some other need arises, that's the main thing that I actually need from um, those vending machines, is Hypos. You promised me pretty, Simon! You promised me pretty! Now look at me! Look at me! Well, that's what you get for half-rate plastic surgery, lady. Alright. Ding dong. There's a lot of blood to be following. Okay. Above all, do no harm, L. Stein. Or wait, J. Steinman. Blah. Yeah, he's pretty much a bit of a psychopath, but um, down here, everyone's a psychopath, so that's no news to me. Adam presents new problems for the professional. As you are too Get back, turret. Hang on, I gotta hack this thing really quick. To take off all water to go around here. Turn a real circus fake into. Remember, all them machines will short out right and proper if you hit them with electrovolt. Yeah, I know. That's what I just did to this one. Oh crap! <laughs> oh man, that was bad. I accidentally hit the uh, the cancel button. Ooh, don't wanna do that. That was that was not good. This is a very important turret to hack. I might add. Um. Because it'll come in handy way later if it's still up and running. Um, but the problem is keeping it up and running because these turrets like to short circuit awfully quickly. But now that's our turret. It is, it is a friendly turret. What the crap? Wow. Um, yeah, so that's crossfire going on. Can you take care of that guy for me, Mr. Mr. Sentry, please? Uh, this one. Hack! Hack! Go! Don't kill me! No! Nicely done. Okay. So that's another turret on our side. Those are handy to have. As far as I know, they don't run out of ammo, actually. Die, die. Wow, well, get back here. Okay, here. Oh, here's another one. Oh, come on. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. There she go. Okay, that got her. That, that got her. Okay, um, I think she's dead. Are you dead? Please tell me you're dead. Yes, you're dead. And your face is red. Awesome. Okie dokie. So we've got two hacked turrets in the main lobby here. Um, I didn't really listen to that little tape recording. I was kind of in the middle of stuff. But we'll listen to this one. On the surface, the parasite expects the doctor to heal them for free. The farmer to feed them out of charity. How little they differ from the pervert who prowls the streets looking for a victim he can ravish for his grotesque amusement. Alright, so let's check this area out really quick. Um, another thing you should probably know, just sort of a little trick, um, is never to hack these. Uh, you don't really have to hack these anyway. What I do is I just whack them. I whack them, whack them, 
Whack him. Whack him. Whack him. Whack him. We got another enemy right here somewhere. But I can finish this up. And you get a free first aid kit for doing that. Awesome. Very worth it. No. No. You are not allowed to hit me in the face. Silly splicers. Alrighty then. Uh, so the first thing we gotta do is we gotta find Mr. Steinman to get his little access key. I was at German prison camp, only a 16 years old when I realized I have love for science. German doctor, he makes experiments. Sometimes he makes scientific error. I tell him of this error. I just make him angry. But then he asks, how can a child do such a thing? I tell him sometimes I just That was Dr. Tannenbaum, I think. Wow, I almost failed that one. Okay, cool. Um, she's a cool bro. We'll come across her later. Um, go ahead and read that. It has been brought to my attention that some citizens have discovered ways to hack the vending machines. I should not need to remind each and every citizen rapture that free enterprise is the foundation upon which our society has been established parasites will be punished unless they're me in which case i get away scot-free because everyone's dead anyway and no one really cares anymore it's pretty funny how you can just run around hacking everything in this game though increase flow speed awesome um, we don't need to buy anything from that, but we can go ahead and just leave it hacked. Um, that's always good. I, I really would recommend you just hack everything you see and don't even question it. What's this say? Steinman kills! Ooh! I totally didn't guess that. Whack. 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 There we go. Oh, that was two first aid kits. Awesome. We got another person that's complaining around here. Yeah, we'll we'll just we'll deal with you later. Bye. I, I want to go talk to Mr. Steinman first and get his little access card. Hello, big daddy. Aesthetics are a moral imperative. Why do we have two eyes? This one. Not finished. Not finished. Yeah, crap. You'll have to find some way to get through to surgery. And we don't want to nothing. Chin up now. The Lord hates a quitter. Okay, so. I can hear that splicer sounding yeah. off like it's the 4th of July. Explosives are hard to come by down here. But if you get your hands on one of them telekinesis plasmids, Catch the damn firebomb and toss it right back in his gob. Or anything else that might be standing in your way. So that's a new plan, we gotta get telekinesis. Nope. 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 Oh crud. We got another shooter. Where'd you go? Hello? Okay. Had a random little frame rate spike there. I'm not sure what that was about. Okay, anyway. So, we have our new objective here. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you we gotta go through Eternal Flame to get something to get to the Telekinesis Plasmus. The no, Plasmid in the first place. Hello. Ah! <laughs> Smoke bombed. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where did you go, Mr. Dude? Mr. Dude. He's gonna start 
tossing firebombs everywhere. No! You are not allowed. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my pistol here. Okay, where did you, where did you go? Where did you go? And I am out of Electro Bolt. That's not good. Can't see! Run away! Retreat! Ugh, crud. Where'd this guy go? Come on. Get out of there. You my no, 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 no. I'm not questioning anything. I'm just. I want you to die. I'm so sorry. Bomb, no. No bomb. Thank you. I'll pass on that. Security cameras are going to be a little annoying, but we've got ways around those, which you might be able to guess. I've got a little bit of Eve saved up, so I can electrobolt this one. Come here. Got it. All right, we're back out of Eve again, but that's fine. Uh, we'll get more of it later. So now we gotta burn this. Burn! In flames! What do we get for burning that? Oh, what's this? Hacker's Delight! A plasmid, yay. Or, actually, this is a tonic. We need that, because we're gonna be hacking a lot, and we're gonna need the, uh... something to restore the deficit, basically. Alright, let's check up here and see if we got anything. No, we can't go up this way. It's a little bit too steep. Let's go around. There's gotta be something useful in here. The stairs. Oh, I hear someone! I got special ammo, but we'll deal with that later. Nope. Oh, wow. I am getting shot. Uh... Get back here, please. That was a headshot. Awesome. Sometimes my accuracy is pretty, is pretty good with uh, the pistol. But I don't like to use it a lot. I'm pretty much only going to use it within the medical uh, pavilion because uh, we don't really have a choice at this point as far as what we're going to use. Anyway, we've already went, about, went down that way, so we're gonna mosey on through here and investigate this little room. Parasite wanders the hall. And we got a new plasmid! Incinerate. Incinerate is a very handy plasmid. Light up foes to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spread. We were yes, indeed. We were to spoil our home. One thousand oh, Adam to the man or woman who pins here now. And we've got three people outside. How do we take care of them? Well, you might have seen this little fire trail. Guess what we're gonna do with it? Burn. Kentucky Fried Splicers. Give me that. Okay. We'll be using more incinerate a little later, but for now, we're just gonna roll with uh, what we got here. Electrobolt and the wrench. Electrobolt and the wrench. 